everybody and welcome to another toy review. Today I'm taking a look at something a little bit different. Today I'm taking a look at the gigantic Margin Boo. Now, I have been a huge Dragon Ball Z fan since the early 90s. I think it was 1994. I had a Super Nintendo with the Japanese game converter and I remember having a Dragon Ball game and I didn't know what it was, I just remember uh, fighting against Cell as uh, one of the bosses. Uh, if you guys can actually find out what that game is called, I'd really appreciate it because I want to get it again. That's what got me into the Dragon Ball Z franchise. And then I discovered Dragon Ball the TV show, then I found out it was dubbed, and then I found out about Z and GT, and now there's Kai, and now there's Super, is it Dragon Ball Z Super, or is it Super Dragon Ball Z? Haven't watched that yet, but I honestly can't wait to do so. I've seen both of the God films, which have come out in the last couple of years, both pretty darn good. So anyway, I'm looking on the Hobbylink Japan website. And I find this guy. I do a little bit of research and these massive great giants are being released pretty much on a monthly basis. I'm already three or four figures behind so I need to do some catching up. But for now, I thought I'd start with the massive Majin Buu. The box is pretty straightforward, just a large pink window box with a nice image of Boo on the back there. It itself stands approximately 19 and a half inches tall. It's not small. And here he is out of the packaging. Oh my. <laughs> he is extremely detailed. Of course, now he is in essence a statue, but he is very cartoon accurate. We do have slight rotation on the feet. We do also have slight rotation on the fists, so you can adjust them slightly. The head also does rotate. And the cape, of course, is cloth with a pipe cleaner-esque wire through it to enable us to display it in that kind of flying pose. Taking a closer look, I love that expression on his face. They've captured it. Fantastically. Paint applications on this are impeccable as well. It's very subtle shading around the eyes and cheeks. Different use of pinks on the top there. It's got all his blowholes, they're all darkened out with black. Love the cheeky little wrinkles there across the cheeks. It is Margin Boo. It is perfect. Going down the rest of his body, loving the uh, sculpted waistcoat he's got going on there. That's a very Superman-esque pose. We go down to those massive, great baggy trousers of his. And we've got some really nice shading in here. Looks incredibly well thought out, really brings out the shape on those legs. Going down underneath the really baggy trousers, again, the colour and shading continues throughout the entire figure. The legs do rotate. I imagine these are all separate pieces. Uh, he's made of a hollowed out plastic uh, rotor form, I think it's called, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but. Levels of detailing are genuinely impressive. I mean, look at the folds on the feet. Oh, even the scratches on the big boo belt. <laughs> As previously mentioned, the cape is made of a kind of a cloth material. Almost feels very duster-like, uh, kind of house cleaning material. Uh, but you do have this wire throughout the back, so we can angle that, bend that round, it goes all the way up as far as the knot at the front. If we just lift that up, you can see his back, again, is one solid piece with the vest coming round, and you can see that the head is attached on the top there. And like I mentioned, the hands do rotate. Uh, you can't go all the way around because it's hindered by his manhandles, but they do rotate nonetheless. 
Now, I don't have a great deal of figures in this scale to compare him to because of the Canada cull before I moved. So here we have Ron Perlman as Hellboy. And for my Transformer fans out there, here he is with the MP10 Optimus Prime. It's a good job he's a good guy. And of course, let's not forget the amazing Hulkamus Prime. So there we have it guys, this is the gigantic Margin Boo. Now, if you are an action figure collector, and you're looking to play with your figures, looking to pose them, maybe this isn't for you. But if you're like me, and you like your statues, you like having your figures on display, and you like big, highly detailed, screen accurate figures, then I really can't recommend that you look into this line enough. I've already missed several figures. I'm pretty sure there's a Kid Boo out there already. I know there's a Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, with an extra stand to support his hair. <laughs> uh, I've got a big backlog and I know we've got, uh, I think Cell is either out this month or next month. I need to get him. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting these. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, these honestly are a must. They look fantastic. Uh, the camera doesn't lie. This is incredible. Thanks again to the guys over at Hobbylink Japan for shipping this out. If you do like the figure, why not pay them a visit by clicking through in the link in the description below. Thanks again from myself and Boo. Goodbye.